Hi guys, Bob for Bob's Movie Review here, and today I want to review for you Paranormal Activity The Ghost Dimension. So this kind of has mixed feelings on it. It kind of brings a new twist to the Paranormal Activity movies. Um, they've, it's a new family, actually. I thought this one was going to kind of intertwine with the other movies, but uh, it mainly focuses on three, Paranormal Activity 3. These people move into this house and they find this camera. And they, they kind of say, oh, they were using it in the other ones, but they obviously never showed that. And what it does is it can pick up on ghosts or spirits or entities or whatever. So in a lot of ways, this movie is very similar to the other paranormal activities in that, you know, they start to feel like there's something going on, so they start filming their house. And most of the movie is seen through just, like, cameras pointed down halls and then also um, him carrying the camera around. Um, so they start feeling like something is going on, like there's some sort of presence um, in the house and they start seeing things on the camera. First it appears to just kind of be like specks and then eventually it becomes a blob <laughs> and further down the road more formed into a figure. Um, some people complained that um, it kind of takes away the scariness of the movie if, you know, if you're seeing it instead of it just being you don't know what it is, I guess. Um, I really didn't think that took away from it. I thought it was an interesting new kind of idea there. Um, this movie, like I said, this movie is very similar to the other paranormal activities, so if you don't like them, you're probably not going to like this one. Um, if you did, though, I thought this one was really enjoyable. I liked it. It had some really good jump scares. Um, had an interesting enough story, and it kind of um, answered some of the questions from the other movies. I really don't think it answered all of them. The problem is, and I even tried to do this once, when they, when, they, when they make a movie with no real plans of a sequel, and then it does well, and then they kind of start making all these sequels, they come up with these crazy ideas that really don't even mesh together, and they really don't have, you know, an exact plan. They just kind of make stuff up as they go, and they become so orderly complicated and confusing that it's hard to really follow uh, the entire timeline of the story. Um, so, like I said, they answer some of the questions, like who Toby is, and... <laughs> what everything has been going on and uh, kind of some of that stuff and I, I like the ending um, I don't know that I 100% understood it <laughs> but I did definitely enjoy it and if this is the last paranormal activity I think I think they ended it well you know maybe they'll make another one who knows but um, I had a good, a good enough ending and like I said it kind of intertwines with three they actually I think they show some footage for three and they have the girl who plays Christy in it, but I don't think the girl who played Katie, it wasn't the same girl, I think it was a new girl in this one, and so, um, there's kind of like a neat dynamic with the footage, um, from the third one, and I, I thought that was an interesting aspect, so I like this one, um, I would have to say, out of all the paranormal activities, this is probably like number two on my list, it would go one, and then this one, um, three, three was pretty good too, so it's like one, and this one, or one and three, you know. Um, and this one kind of feels like a, a sequel maybe to three, more than anything else. Um, but what did you guys think of it? Um, I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts in the comment section below. For a score on this, I'm going to give it a six out of ten. It's pretty good. Uh, some people hated it. Nothing I can do about that, but I definitely enjoyed it. Um, the alternate ending, though, I'm trying to remember now. They're, they're, the alternate ending, it, it doesn't have a thing to actually play the alternate endings on its own, which is stupid. Why would they not include that in the special features? If you want to watch just the alternate ending, you have to go to the version of the movie with the alternate ending, and then fast forward to the end. And I, I forget now exactly what it was, but I remember I thought it was kind of dumb. <laughs> um, Alright guys, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this review, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, subscribe for more videos. And I'll see you guys next time. If you're interested, be sure to subscribe on YouTube, follow on Facebook, Follow on Twitter and follow on Instagram.